Hey, if you're struggling with Hashimoto's or thyroid nodules, there's a black seed that was buried with King Tut. Ancient physicians called it a cure for everything but death. Clinical trials show that it can reduce antibodies, shrink nodules, and improve thyroid function. I'm going to share some of the wild historical stories behind this ancient seed, walk you through the best clinical studies, and show you exactly how current evidence says it can help your thyroid. Here's some fun facts in history. These are actual black seeds. This is nigella. It's pretty, pretty intense stuff. For starters, let's clear up some confusion. Uh, nigella sativa, also called black seed, black cumin or kalanji. This is not the same as the cumin you would cook with. Completely different plant, little tiny jet black seeds. This seed has some serious historical credentials though. King Tut's tomb. Archaeologists found black seed in his burial chamber. The ancient Egyptians considered it so valuable, they sent pharaohs into the afterlife with it. The seed of blessing. In Islamic tradition, it's called Habat al-Baraka. There's a famous hadith that says black seed is a remedy for every disease except for death. We've got passages in ancient medical texts, in Ayurvedic medicine, Unani healing traditions, and even in Dioscoroides' first century treatise. And then culinary use. Today, you'll find it sprinkled on naan bread, in Middle Eastern spice blends, and in some curry dishes. You know, think about like oregano meets black pepper. That's probably the best way I can think of it. It's, more, it's a pretty intense thing. It's a pretty powerful spice. But here's what matters for thyroid health. It's not just folklore. We've now got over 20 human clinical trials specifically on thyroid function. Let me show you some of the things that they found. So we've got good science that black seed can do useful things for thyroid health. We're talking about pretty high quality studies now. Human studies, not animal studies, not test tube stuff. Studies with placebos published in peer-reviewed human studies showing meaningful outcomes. One of the biggest ones for Hashimoto's and thyroid antibodies, there are now multiple studies showing that nigella sativa significantly reduced thyroid antibodies, especially thyroid peroxidase antibodies. In one clinical trial, patients taking black seed extract for eight weeks saw their antibody levels drop by more than 25% greater than placebo. This matters because high antibodies mean your immune system is attacking your thyroid, and they can also cause symptoms regardless of how your thyroid is working. Furthermore, this same study showed that those taking black seed had a reduction in excess vascularity. That's a common thing with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's a sign of inflammation, but it's also correlated with the risk for onset of thyroid cancer. Black seed lowered the inflammation and decreased the risk. Now, for hypothyroidism and thyroid hormone levels, studies have shown that black seed can improve T3 levels and normalize TSH. This is true in patients with subclinical hypothyroidism and even in overt hypothyroidism. Black seed supplementation led to just better thyroid performance, and that can correlate with less fatigue, less brain fog, better metabolism. For weight loss with thyroid disease, here's a great attention getter. Black seed in a placebo-controlled human trial was shown to help weight loss specifically in those with hypothyroidism. This is important because people with thyroid disease struggle for weight loss. These studies show that somehow the reduced inflammation, there was also an improvement of insulin sensitivity and better support of metabolic function. All these things together made weight loss easier even for those on the same food intake. And then a big one here too, thyroid nodules. Research has shown that black seed can reduce thyroid nodule size. The studies tracked patients over several months and documented measurable shrinkage. This is one of the reasons I specifically included nigella in nodule control formula. The data really backs that up. And then the thyroid cancer risk, just to restate that, the vascularity with Hashimoto's can be measured in a marker called VGF. That's vascular endothelial growth factor. It's basically an inflammatory marker associated with a higher risk of thyroid cancer. And in the studies, nigella showed that the active constituent thymoquinone diminished the total level of autoimmune inflammation and decrease the VGF. So we know that this acts as an antioxidant, it helps to regulate the overall immune response, and it's also decreasing the bottle's total inflammatory load. And that's why we're seeing a lot of benefits because it's working in many ways at the same time. That can be why it helps with antibodies, with nodules, with hormone levels, and just total inflammation levels in the body. So what are some practical applications of this? You know, it's kind of a fun thing to cook with in the kitchen, but 
the forms used in clinical trials are not always the same as the forms you buy in the seeds. That's also true of nigella seed powder, black seed oil, black seed powder. So again, totally fine to play with in the kitchen and fun to do that way. But most studies show that between about 100 to 3,000 grams per day of purified black seed powder or concentrated extracts were used. Now, there are subspecies of this as well. Not all subspecies are the same, and not all products are the same. When I made the thyroid-specific formulations line, I was very impressed with nigella, and I use it in antibody support for its benefits on lowering thyroid peroxidase antibodies, and then also with metabolism boost, because it can diminish the overall rate of suppressed metabolism and help regulate weight better for those with thyroid disease. I chose the subspecies and amounts used in the clinical trials. It's important to know you're getting the right subspecies, the right form of a plant, because they can be very different from one to the next. Nigella is quite safe when used appropriately. You don't want to use doses that are unusual during pregnancy. Check with a doctor. With thyroid meds, keep track on your levels. You may find that you need a different dose of medication, often less, and if you don't identify that, you could be getting too much. And like anything, if this is a new thing you're trying, you may see stomach upset, not because it's common, but because that can happen with almost anything new. So bottom line, black seed is not just ancient medical folklore. It's got legitimate published peer-reviewed research showing that it can, for many people, help lower antibodies, improve T3 and TSH levels, help with weight loss in thyroid patients, reduce thyroid nodule inflammation, and also decrease risks towards thyroid cancer longer term and reducing whole body inflammation. Because of all this good evidence, it's a nice thing to improve. It's a safe plant extract that can give a lot of these general benefits. And if you're dealing with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism or thyroid weight issues, this is worth talking about with your healthcare provider. Nigella works best along with a thyroid healthy diet. My most recent book was a synopsis of all the best high-quality studies showing that diet could help thyroid disease, the Thyroid Reset Diet. If you'd like to learn more about it, take a look at the description below, and I can send you the first chapter of the book for free. You can get some good insights and see if it makes sense for you and see if you'd want to go further with that. What's your experience with natural thyroid support? Have you tried black seed? Have you tried other things towards improving thyroid function? Put a comment below. I read them all and love to hear your experience. And if you found this valuable, hit the subscribe button. I break down the actual science on thyroid health every week so you can make informed decisions about your health. Thanks for watching. Take good care of your thyroid. It's taking care of you. We'll talk again soon.